I did some tests and it seems it seems that the what what was what was ruining the audio was the Nvidia voice plugin uh, that I used to to remove the ba the background noise. So if the audio is uh, a bit better, let me know. seconds to show you both uh, so you know what to do on, on each case so let's take uh, another snapshot and <laughs> we can see better the difference so the head is brown it goes much brown on, uh, at the top here. You can see that brown here at the top. Uh, the hair goes to uh, to one to take the length of the hair into account, and the other will not. the hair position now I'm going to take the vector output and connect these two to the input here it will read the UVs as you can see the UVs of the hair and Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, it looks like the audio is uh, better right now. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Good, okay. So I'm going to start. I'm going to 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 take a step back uh, because I think the audio issues started around the the part where I started to talk about the 
vector length so i'm going to go through that real quick so let me first run a render tool so if you start to watch this to, to watch this uh, new stream we are in on the same page Okay, what can I do? You know what? I'm going to delete uh, delete all these uh, just to show this part real quick. So we have this base color. And we want to add some some. Uh, we have to add a, a, a ramp color that goes from the root to the tip, uh, so we can have some darker color at the tips and some light. Uh, uh, we're adding some some dark colors at the root and light colors at the tip. So I'm going to look for a ramp here in the in the node list. And by default, by default, the hair will use the UVs of the distribution map. So if we connect uh, this ramp to the uh, internal reflection colors, let me choose some bright colors so you can see the, the results. some pink and green uh, the hair the 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 ramp doesn't go from the root to the tips because it it is actually using the 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 UVs of the distribution mesh not the not the UVs of the hair so to make the shader use the EVs of the hair we have to use the hair position node then we co we connect the vector output to the ramp and as you can see this node will will output the UVs of the hair to the ramp and now and now we get the the colors from the tip from the root to the tip of the hair like this So right now uh, you can see uh, that we have hairs on the, we have those clumps on the front that are shorter than the length, than, than the rest of the, of the hair, right? Uh, for example, let me, let me open this trunk uh, tool. Okay, so we have these clumps here that are shorter than the rest, the rest of the hair, but the the but the ramp is uh, is like like even though well the, the the ramp is not taking into account the actual length of the hair. So if you want that. Right now, we are just taking into account the UVs of the hair with the hair position. But if you want to also get the, the length of the hair, you can use a vector length node and connect the hair position to it to give it the UVs of the hair and it will read the, the length. Then we connect the output to the wrap. A second like this and now you can see that it is it takes indeed the the length 
of the hair into account. Let me let it render for a bit and uh, take a, a, a screenshot, a, a snapshot so we can see the, the difference and compare. If the if the audio is fine, uh, let me know. You know what? I can check it here in in the, in the stream. Oh, it's is it's bad again. Hmm. This is a a big problem. Let's see what else I can do here. Okay, testing. Should be better now, but I don't have any. You, you may hear some background noise. Okay, let's continue. So let's take a, a snapshot of this and compare. This is with the length uh, vector, and let's take one without the the length, only with the UVs. Let it render for a bit. Okay, let's take another snapshot and compare. This is without taking the length in the into the shading, and this is with the length, without and with the length. Okay, uh, so let's work with the length uh, for now and see how far we can get. Uh, you decide for yourself what you want, uh, the, the look that you want, but here you can see the, the difference between them. For now, I will work with the length. And so th this is how you add a, a color to the hair from the roots to the tip. Let's increase the, the range of the pink color like this. Maybe a bit more. Not too much. I think it's it, it's fine there by by default. Okay, uh, now um, I want to add randomization to those colors. I, I want to have uh, different shades of, of pink and different shades of, of, of green. So for that, I'm going to use uh, uh, the, um, the random, the hair random color node. So, let me move this over here and 
I just have to connect my color, whatever color I'm using, I can connect it to the her random color node. And then uh, connect the output to the input color of the hair shader. So we have here three, three parameters to randomize the color. They will be value, saturation and hue. I'm going to, to change the hue to 0.5 and we can already see the, the difference. Let me, well, let me take a, a snapshot with randomization and then we'll take another without color randomization. Uh, as I said, uh, you might hear some noises in the background because I'm not using the tool that will remove the, the background noise. I, I was getting some audio issues, uh, but should be better now. Okay, let's take a snapshot and compare. Uh, let's uh, render one without the color randomization. And as you can see, it's a big uh, difference. Let it render for a few seconds. As you can see, we get uh, different shades of, of gray and different shades of, uh, of green. And we can add here as much colors of, uh, as we want. Uh, for example, if I want to, to have not only uh, uh, pink, I want to add I don't know, uh, some blue there, I can do it, I'll let it render, now we, we get some blue shade here at the, at the roots of the hair. There you go. And we can keep adding colors. Let me add some yellow here. There you go. So as I said, you decide if you use the if you are if you want to use the the length of the hair into the into the shading. Um, we may get even better better range without the length. So I'm going to to try that. There you go. So yeah, you. Decide what you want uh, based on your project. So we have blue, pink, green, and yellow in this hair. It's, a, it's like a rainbow. And some color variation as well. Let me save the scene and let it render for a bit. Then we are going to see how to add some color to, to the clumps. Uh, for example, let me look for some reference. I want to add this type of details to the, to the hair like this. 
uh, one one big clump with a, a different color something like this oh there you go a clump like this with a different color okay let's do that um for that i'm going oops let me delete this uh for that uh i'm going to i'm, I'm going to paint a, a mask to use here in the in the shading and use this ma this mask together with this uh, ramp colors uh, let me stop the render uh, to paint the maps i'm going to use modbox Okay, uh, so what I have here is the distribution map and a layer painting black where I'm going to to paint the to paint white the areas where where I want my 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 uh, my my mask. Uh, you know what? I'm going to add a new layer so I, I can. Uh, tweak it later independently i'm going to name this as black uh, oops english please and here white and turn on the distribution map uh, so i use this as a, as a guide so i know where i'm going to 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 paint Let's see. Uh, I will want. I will add this uh, on the front, over here on the center. Oops! I have to. Okay, something like this over there. So okay, um, I'm going to pick a white color and paint over here like this. A big uh, uh, blob of, of white. For my mask and turn off the distribution map then i'm going to export this uh, export merge channel and, um, let's save it color mask override this i don't need that okay now i'm going to import this into the shading network uh, as a texture load the file here uh, color mask but we need to find a way to to blend the the existing color to blend what we have now with the new color so whoops here you are so let's uh, i think color layer yes this is the node i'm going to use a color layer node uh, we have to connect a base color which will be what what we have now the this rainbow uh, this blue pink green yellow colors 
the reason I use those br very bright colors is so I can see the difference uh, um, and then I go node by, by node and choose the, the colors of my reference photo. Okay, so I'm going to use the this ramp color as the base and connect this uh, color layer node to the input color in the shader. Let's render and make sure that it's uh, rendering correctly. Okay, right now, uh, let me turn off the layer one so we only get the base. Okay, so we have that base and uh, layer one. The layer one is set to black. Uh, that's why we get that darker color mixed with the highlight color, etc. So let's add a, a, a red clump or a white clump. Yeah, just a, 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 a white clump, uh, something like this. But we now have to, uh, to add a, a mask to this layer one. And the mask is the the white area that we paint in Modbox. So we take the output and connect it to the layer one mask here. So we have the base, we have the layer one color, which is this whitish color. And then we have a mask for this white color. So we connect our mask here, layer one mask. And there you go. We have uh, the white color here. We have this white clump here. Well, these white clumps. And we can just uh, uh, go to the color layer and change the, the color here. Uh, by the way, we can connect a texture here if we want or another ramp. Uh, uh, let's um, black <laughs> with so many colors there will, will be a bit uh, difficult. Uh, well, uh, okay, let's use, uh, I don't know, a darker blue. Uh, 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 light blue, I mean, something like this. Exactly, yeah. You can add uh, another uh, uh, another ramp here, or you know what? I I think we can even blend this mask with the ramp. So instead of of having the the whole clump with this blue color we can have only partially uh, 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 for example only the the middle part of the of the clump with this blue color let's try that um, the way we do this in uh, well the way we we are um, the way we want to allow the user to do this is using is using a strand channels, but maybe we don't need that, uh, or we can use this. What I am about to to try now, maybe we can use this as a work around uh, for that. Uh, let's try it. I'm not sure if it's going to to work, but let's try it first. Uh, let me use uh, uh, instead of the ramp, I'm going to use a, a plain color. Oh wait, uh, we don't have the ra the randomization connected. Let me do it now. There you go. Yeah, it looks much better with with the random colors. Um, 
let it render a bit and let me save the scene Okay, so just for the demo, instead of this ramp, uh, rainbow colors, I'm going to use a plain color so we, we can see this clump uh, a bit better. I know that the stream is in a very low resolution, so um, I'm going to, to add the plain color, I'm going to use a color user data node and connect it to the her randomization uh, color like this uh, let's use uh, a brown color uh, something like this a very dark brown yeah like this and the 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 clump will be something uh, like this but uh, this one is not getting any randomization right so what we can do instead of randomizing only the the ramp or or only the 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 flat color what i'm going to do is instead of connecting the color layer to the input color right i'm going to randomize the output of the color layer like this and connect this to the output oops do I have to disconnect it first? Why is it not? Hmm. It is. It seems like it's not possible to to connect it. Hmm. Or is it because? What about now? No? Okay. There you go. And we can, uh, we have to connect the, the base color again. Like this. So we have the, the flat color and the, the layer one for, for this clump here. And then this this is blend here in this color layer node blended using the the, the mask that we painted on mod um, mod box this 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 mask right so then this color output is being randomized by this hair random color node and hopefully it's very clear it's very simple let me zoom out so you can see the whole network is actually really simple it's only one two three four nodes and let me save the scene okay rector have one question now this opens uh, possibilities i'm thinking in zbrush or a like app use a spray brush black and white this allows them to mask random hair then you can add a more natural color to add variations over the whole hair yeah yeah exactly um you actually don't have to 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 paint with a spray brushing c brush because we are already adding randomization to the to the hair color using this uh, hair random color note 
but if you if the randomization that you want uh, uh, I don't know if you want a, a bunch of clumps colors like like this one yeah yeah this opens more uh, uh, more 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 possibilities uh, uh, as you say yeah exactly yeah this way you can choose a, a very particular color for for the for the randomization um but uh let me uh what about noise yes you, you now that that you have the color layer node here you can add noise if you want you you can add uh whatever know that will add color uh, I mean uh, let's see I know uh, a noise uh, so instead of, of this mask to create this clump I'm going to add the uh, uh, a noise as a layer one mask exactly yeah Exactly. Uh, one thing that I don't like uh, about, uh, or maybe I don't know uh, how to use it, is that I can't see the the noise. I can I can't actually see the the result of the noise. I would like to to see the the grain. Uh, so if I change the parameters here, I I I, I don't actually see the result but but yes you can use a noise node to uh, to randomize the the color i will connect back my <coughs> my my mask i need to use the normal c for the nodal system ah, okay okay i see you can isolate nodes in IPR, huh? That's cool. Um, one thing that I'm going to do real quick is increase the the area of the mask here. Uh, let me see. I want a bit more. Uh, more. Oops. Uh, I want a bit more hair here. And here, just make sure all the hairline is taken there. Okay, and re export the mask, color mask, rewrite, and go back to cinema. And I guess I have to reload. Um, maybe I have to re render. Re restart the render it doesn't seem to have increased Or I didn't notice. Uh, let me let me try. Reload. Okay, the image reloads. Okay. Yeah, seems to be working fine. So I'm going to just uh, increase the this the, the area a bit more, quite a bit more like this, and re-export the merge channel. Reload and run the render. Uh, 
I see. It's going to the hair on the uh, to the hair below this layer here. So I have to to go more. Um, oops. I have to go more through this uh, area here, like this, and export, reload, hmm. in the, the image again hmm, the image is not reloading for some reason uh, not only that it's not saving I think see it's not saving correctly weird let me save it with another name uh. hmm I don't get it Okay, uh, okay, it seems to, to be there. Uh, maybe, maybe too much. Yeah, I wish there, there was a, a way to know for sure where I'm, where I am painting, but <laughs> this is what we can do right now. Let's take a bit, a bit more from it, from this area like this. Okay. here you know what I'm just gonna go back to what I had before it was working oops I don't have anything now okay this should be fine Should work for the demo. All right, that's fine. That's uh, that's uh, the light. Okay, so it's fine like this. This is what you got. Um, so I was going to to blend uh, this mask with uh, with a ram color to 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 the side where this uh, light yellow color will be located along the strand. We want to 
to set the mask to only affect uh, the the middle part of the clump for example um, I am not sure if this will work because I, I haven't tried but let's see um, so uh, I'm going to to use a blend color uh, hmm. material blender bomb uh, I have to find something to to blend color blend color layer no I think there is a there is something to blend to blend colors but okay uh, Thinking utilities textures no mm -mm. okay let's use a uh, uh, color layer again and um, okay uh, this time the base should be our texture here and no wait yes and then we can have a mask for the base because we don't need to two layers um, so for that mask I'm going to use uh, a ramp from black and white uh, ramp with the hair position connected to to it uh, hmm. All right, the base doesn't get a, a mask, so I need a second layer. So it should be in color. In the color of the layer one. Yeah, uh, the base doesn't seem to get a map, uh, so an a, a, a mask as an input okay let's let's try it hopefully we will have a we, we will find a way to make it work uh, so it should be layer one mask and no no it's not uh, doing what I expected to do looks good but this is not what we are looking for um, <clears throat> okay let's see we have the mask we want to mask the vase let me disconnect uh, this reorganize this uh, Okay, we have this uh, let me connect the base first and turn off the layer one this is what we get with the layer one enable layer one of course it will add black removing the effect so I'm going to set it to white Oops, 100% white. Uh, why is not why is not working? I have to. It's set to white, but it goes back to. Hmm. I'm going to set it manually here. 
it goes back to gray for some reason. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, so let's add the ramp as the mask for layer one. No, that's not working as I expect. Oh, yeah, it's working there. It's working. Uh, so let's, um, let's see. Yeah, I think it's working. Let me add another point here in on the gradient with white instead. Oh God. There you go. Wait, why is it red? The white. There you go, it works. So now we can actually uh, paint uh, the, the, the hair in a per vertex uh, way, like we will do with a vertex channel, for example with upper vertex strand channel. Yeah, it works. Uh, is there a, a way to change here the uh, interpolation of the of the ramps? Because I think it's inverted and and I want it to be so uh, to be sharper as well. Right click, okay. Invert gradient, do, do, double knots, distribute nodes, interpolation, cubic linear. Hmm. Linear. Hmm. Okay, let me try uh, setting the this one to black, this one to white, and this one to black again. Yeah, I have to find a way to change the interpolation. But you're not in the new nodal system. That's the odd node for C4D. More possibilities in C4D new nodes. You can convert it from the Redshift uh, uh, menu. Okay, so I haven't used the C4D uh, new node, so I'm going to 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 keep working with the Redshift shader graph for now and in the next I can explore that but yeah what what I was trying works um, we can add per vertex color to the to the hair this way um, let's keep playing with the colors I just don't like the interpolation here of the of the ramp and for some reason it seems to be inverted what if I use uh, horizontal? Uh, huh. 
it, it doesn't seem to make any difference. Maybe because we are using the, the UVs of the hair. Okay, let me... How can I delete points here? Okay. Let's set it to... to white. Okay, it will remove it. And this one to black. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to to set another white here. like this there you go I like this there we go so we have this color variations that we can uh, control with some ramps and color blends let me save the scene and let it render for a couple minutes so we can see better what we have convert all materials here uh, this is what you you used to convert to the to the redshift node system retro i guess that's it convert all materials convert all materials to nodes convert and replace what is it? Convert and replace all materials. Okay, nice. I will try that later. So there you go. Um, there you go. Let's see if I can find this blend node that I saw before. Bomb blender, this, bl no, no, nothing of that. And it's not material blender either. All right, it works with the color layer node. Let's go back to the rainbow colors that I like so much. <laughs> um, here you are. with this uh ramp color then the 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 color that we said here is not very visible but it's there let me set it back here and get our color our plain color back uh, base color base color there you go all 
what lighting I'm using I'm, I'm using a a simple uh, dome light with an HDRI map no I'm not uh, I well I'm I'm using the the default settings ah one more one more thing that I want to show you uh, there is a way in redshift to smooth the the hair strands if you don't have uh, enough uh, details uh, let me see if I can find it at least I can do it in Maya uh, let's see it's not there um, I think it's system uh, hair tessellation there you go this will add uh, this will uh, smooth out the the hair in um, uh, at render time it will add more detail to the hair strands so you can for example lower the amount of details that you are using here in the detail modifier uh, to speed up the the rendering or the animation and then you add uh, you smooth out the the hair here adding some hair tessellation here is at 8 by default so it's already doing some some work uh, there is another um, exactly the the main pixel with uh, is in uh, where is that setting um, experimental options no uh, optimization yeah hair main pixel width this will help to this will help to to remove also the 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 noise on the hair render. Let me try increasing the the mask area again, but horizontally. The HDRI that I'm using is one that I found free. Uh, I don't remember the name of the guy. Uh, uh, let me see. Um, let's see. Wait a second. See if I can find the, the website. Okay, uh, the guy is called Maxim Ross. Ma Maxim Ross, like this. Maxim Ross. Wait, uh, I can't type in my own chat. <laughs> what is this? is happening Maxim Rose I mean Ross like this ok 
Okay, no problem. Uh, so let me reload the the mask in the shader. It already did. I have to re-render probably. That light get uh, set, set up looks sweet. The area light is the rim, right? I don't know what what you mean by rim. <laughs> The area light is on the side. Let me show you. Wait. Yeah, it's on the back. The the, the back side, more or less. Uh, there you go. There it is. Okay, uh, if you don't have any questions, I think I'm going to stop here and maybe continue uh, next week. Okay, no problem. Let me just keep playing playing a little bit more here. Um, I don't know. Um, We didn't see the um, Oh yeah. I'm going to 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 try that later. I uh okay. There you go. Um let me organize this a little bit more in case anyone want to take a, a screenshot. to show the final network like this uh, I didn't use this one and this one so we can separate them like this and this is it so we have a hair position to fit in the ram color this will give the 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 ram this will fit the uvs of the hair to the ramp and then we blend uh, this ram uh, color as a mask with a texture map that we painted on mood box like this this is the the, the hair scalp and we blended those two masks in the color layer node and then we use this to uh, the well the mask created with the ramp and the texture was blended in one node then we blended uh, two more colors the the base color which is this flat brown color here we blended this one with the the layer one color to which is the the color of the of the clump that that she have on the on the front um, and then the we took this output of of those two blended colors and randomized the the colors and fit them to the 
internal reflection input of the hair shader. We didn't see the, the other colors here. Uh, diffuse, you are not using, we are not using diffuse. In fact, uh, tinted hair, uh, it, it should be done here in the diffuse. Uh, the internal reflection and the transmission uh, defines a natural color. When you want to create tinted color, go for diffuse. So this clump here, this uh, this clump with the different colors should go in the in the diffuse color. They should go as a diffuse color, and maybe we can explore that uh, later. But I run out of time right now so um, I have to go now go for some dinner and uh, see you next week let me save those renders to post on on Facebook and um, Oh, color mix, yes, exactly, <laughs> thank you, thank you, um, so I have this render here, I want to try um, another one, um, where is it, here I want to, oops, why is it doing that? Okay, I want to try uh, the mask directly without the, the ramp, like this. I like this one more, yeah, it's more rose-like, X-Men-like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no problem. Let me finish those those renders, then I will go for dinner. Uh, by the way, I want to thank my my first uh, three patrons. Uh, <laughs> they are. Uh, let me check to get the, their names right. Um, Stephen Davidson, Jesus, uh, Jesus Fernanda, Fernandez, and Daniel Ripley. Thank you, guys. <laughs>
Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to try that now. Uh, well, at least the, the at least the conversion part. Let's wait for this to finish. Some crazy colors in this hair. Um, okay, uh, how do I do that? <laughs> How can I say this? I I can share. Is there a way to to save this? To save the the net the the shader network. Uh, okay, text to now. Uh, can you share the RD hair material, please? What do you mean RD? RD, what is that? Okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. I can do that. Um, Wait, um, uh, let me just finish with this. I like that. Yeah. No, wait, um, I'm confused, it's here. Mm. 
Nah. Hmm. Okay, um There you go. So if we use this mask in the diffuse, uh, this is actually how it should be be used because the the tint color is a diffuse color, but the weight is maybe too high, and maybe we can increase the translucency. But uh, this is. Uh, basically how it shall be done Let it render for a few minutes and we will be done. Okay, so you want the material. Um, let me do that now. Uh, I'm going to. Hmm, I'm going to add a new hair object. And uh, add the material to it. There you go.
Okay. Um, let me strip down the scene. Wow, I can't believe I just <laughs> override that. Oh God. Oh God. That was scary. <laughs> that happened to me once in in uh, ZBrush, I lost the project forever <laughs> because I closed it. <laughs> oh man, I was so frustrated. So, okay. Uh, uh, of course, I have to save again. And <laughs> Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I will post this on. I will post this the the link to the download or in, on my Patreon page. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching and uh, see you later.